Namaste. I'm Ganesh Raut. Welcome to you all, as the students, to this virtual class of English grammar. Today <coughs> we have the topic for discussion is simple future tense. Simple future tense. So, what is simple future tense? What is its structure? And how is it used? We'll see these all today. So, let's first start simple future tense with his concept. Okay? Concept. Concept. To understand the concept, first you should understand the timeline. Timeline. See, this is present point. At present time. Now. Okay. And from here to the left. Refers past time. Then from here to the right refers future time. Okay. Now, what sort of action is denoted by simple future tense? See, an action which will took place here. Here means in the future time. Yes. Here, the action will take place. Yeah. So, what's now? Simple few sentences. Simple few sentences denotes the action that will take place at some point of time in the future or after the time of speaking. Action that will start or take place in future or after the time of the speaking. After the time of speaking. Yes. This sort of action is denoted by single future tense. The tense denoting such action, such work is single future tense. So What's this definition now? Just include these points in this definition. Like the tense which denotes the action that will in future or after the time of speaking after the time of speaking is 
known as simple fusel rings. Okay. Simple future tense. Yeah. Let's see an example. Hari will meet me tomorrow. She here. She's what's the action? Meeting. It will take place in future tomorrow. See tomorrow. I mean, this action will take place in future point of time. It will take place in future point of time. You may write over here. It will take place in future point of time. Also, you can hear over here. Point of time. So now, let's talk about this structure. What's the structure? It's very, very important. Without knowing this structure, you cannot you know, construct the sentences in simple few sentences. Therefore, subset, as we have here, Plus, shall or will. Plus, V1, ups, past form. Then, the students, what is this shall used with? What is this will used with? So, if you see the concept of using shall and will according to the traditional grammar tz see shall it is used with first person i and we in general sense eh? General sense. General sense means if the actions will happen, occur, so generally. Yes. Whereas will is used to its second person. And third person. That's you, he, she, it, and they. They are. Again, in general sense, samanya arthama. This is what we'll use to it. And shall use to it. By the way, this use of shall and will uh, you know, can be interchanged also. I mean, this shall can be used with second person too, or third person. under some conditions and will can be used with first person. What's the condition? If the sentence shows will will means itcha intention Promise, determination, <clears throat> threat, command, yes, 
When the sentence shows the sense of this, the sense of will, the sense of intention, promise, determination, threat, command, then shall can be used with second and third person too. And will can be used with first person too. Like, see here. She shall pay the fine. See here. She shall pay the fine. It shows a threat. Chetabani. That's why third person is used to sell here. See. You, you shall do it. It shows command. Or duty also, I say. Moral duty. I will Shop the nation. I will shop the nation. This shows determination. So, first person with will here. It shows determination. See. I will. Lend you my car. It shows promise. So, so what is proved here? In this sense, shall can be used with second and third person, whereas will can be used with first person. However, modern grammar and grammarians claim that will is used with all the persons. I, you, he, she, if they with all. Will is must be used. Will is used with according to modern grammar. Modern grammar will is used with other pronouns. Yes. So if you use will with I do, it won't be wrong according to modern grammar. But according to traditional grammar, it shall be it is first as first person. Will is the second and third person in general sense. But in this sense, we can interchange the usage too. Okay. This is about the structure of simple future tense. Now, we will pass it to the usage of simple future tense. And that is very important. That is to be understood. Okay, let's see. Uses of simple future tense. Let's see, let's see, now. First, type one examples. Let's see, type one examples. First. My dear students, we'll show the examples first and then conclude. I shall, okay, I'm writing shall with I. I shall go to Kathmandu. 
Tomorrow. See here. What is the chance you hear? Sad plus B1. Simple future. Why? Because this action will take place in future. This action will take place at some point of time in future. First the point I'm here, tomorrow. This action, the act of going will take place tomorrow. After the time we'll be speaking. That's why. Simple future tense is here. Okay. Next slide. Let's see here, he will organize a party tonight. See here again. What's the tense used here? Simple future tense. Why? Because this action too will take place tomorrow. Not tomorrow, tonight here. Tonight shows future time. Tonight shows future time. That's why. Next time they will they will help me. The day after tomorrow. So, again, okay. what is the tense there? Good. Simple, good, sir. Yes, safety. Why? It's the time of the year. Who's the time of the year? It shows this action will take place. So, what's the conclusion now for you? Dear students, you must know now, simple future tense is used with the actions that will take place at some point of time in future. And there you will get future time adverbials. Okay, so let's write over here what you understood. I mean, Simple closure test is used to the actions that will take place in in some point of time in future. Or after the time of speaking. Time of speaking. Okay. And then you get the time of values used. Like tomorrow, standard value, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Next, or next day, next month, next year, tonight, soon, positively, surely, in a few minutes, yes, soon, etc. Okay. So, with this time and variables, let's say, simple future tense is used. Because this time and variables denote the actions will take place in future. Okay. Now, let's move on to type 2 examples. Type 2 examples. Dear students, Let's observe the examples first. And the example is Hari will pass yes e e in two thousand twenty five. See here. What 
is the just used there? Will plus P1, yes, yeah, T. Why? Because in plus future point of time is here. In plus future point of time. Yes, it implies, it indicates that that should be simple future tense. It is called implied use of simple future. Implied use. Implied. Implied use of simple future tense. Okay. See the next one. He will meet me at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. See here. At which tense is here? Simple future tense. Why? Because at plus future time is here. Now, suppose it's 5 p.m. 6 p.m. is still left to come. So, at plus future point of time is here. At plus future point of time is there. That's why. So, by seeing these two examples, we can say that if we have in or at plus, in or at plus, future point of time. Then we use simple future tense. So why simple future here? Because of this. Because of this. It implies, indicates that there has to be simple future. So it is too very, very important for the examination finding of dear students. So it's more than down. Impossible pass right. Now let's begin with type three examples. Type three examples. Three examples. Okay. Let's see, dear students. I think Nepal will win the game. See here. What's the tense here? Simple future tense. Why? Because we have the word I think here. I think is there. I'll explain it more to later on. Next slide. I'm sure he will pass the test. What test is your here? Simple future test. Why? Because of this expression, I'm sure. I hope they will come on time. She again here who states simple future tense. Why? Because of I hope there. So what's now in conclusion? Simple future tense is used when we think. When you believe what will happen in future, I think this will happen. I'm sure this will happen. I hope this will happen here. So if we think, if we hope, if we believe that something will happen in future, something will occur in future, then that something is to be in simple future as here, students. So please write over here. Simple future test with the actions that we think 
So belief will have pain in future. Will have pain or occur in future. Yes. And with that, you will generally get the expressions like I think at the beginning. I believe at the beginning. I hope at the beginning. I'm sure. I expect. So, now the next is type for examples. Okay. I four examples. Okay, students. Let's see the example here. Example. Will you will you come to my birthday party? See, dear students, which tense is here? Will plus B1. It's in the question form. Will plus B1. Simple use tense. Why? Because it shows, it denotes an invitation. Invitation. That's why it's an invitation. They say, Shall I bring a glass of water? Which tense is here again? Shall plus us. Simple to such is here. Yes, Shakti. Why? Because so is an offer. Will you will you help me please? See that. Again we have simple few sentence here. And the reason is it's a request here. So dear students, what's the conclusion after studying these three examples while making a request, offer, invitation, or command, we use simple utilities. That's the answer. While making a request, command, offer, or invitation, we use simple views of change. Okay, now let's move ahead. Type 5 examples. Type 5 examples. And in this type 5 examples, We'll compare the simple future tense with simple present and present courteous tense too. We'll see a comparative study. So, and you will discuss here under future plan and program. Plan and program. My dear students, here future plan and program means a plan that is made at present for future time. That's what future plan and program means over here. See, this with future plan and program. 
Dear students, you can use simple present tense too. Simple present tense. We know a structure. Present continuous tense. We know its structure and simple future. Simple future tense too. Okay, let's see the examples first. Then we will clear. We will be quite clear here. PM Oli flies to America tomorrow, comma, meets with the president there, meets with the president there. Well, stop, say comma. Signs in the agreement paper. And flies back on Friday. Okay. Let's see him. Another example of under present constants here. I am uh, coming tomorrow. She is living in Jamalpur. Let's see here. It's raining. I will carry an umbrella. Uh, <clears throat> it's so hot. I will switch on the Mr. Kharka is busy. I will wait a bit. Okay. Now let's see here. Dear students, which tense is used here? See here. Plies, B5, simple present tense. Mix, B5, simple present. Simple present. And simple presentation is why it's a future plan made with all the preparations, made with all the preparations here. The, the government has talked to the government of America in their diplomatic level. So, this plan has been made with all the preparations here. Pura tayari ko saath, ye planning gari ho cha. Yes, first thing is that, it is made with all the preparations. Preparations, yes. Number one. Number two, dear student, this plan is formal. Formal means here official. It's a formal plan. Official plan. And third, you will see a series of actions. First action, second, third, fourth, series of actions. Yes, dear students. If the plan is made with all the preparations 
and that is far more beneficial with series of actions than with simple present tense. I mean, simple present tense is used with a formal plan with series of actions. That's made with all the preparations there. Okay. Whereas, let's see over here. It is also made with preparations. I am coming tomorrow means everything has been prepared. I have got the ticket, I have packed my bag. The preparations have been completed. So, it is also with preparation. It's made with all the preparations. But what is the difference between this and that? It was a formal plan, official plan. But this is an informal plan, informal. It's an individual plan. You can be a plan. You can start plan. We have a single action here. Single action. Single action. Yes. Dear students, if the plan is made with all the preparations, but that's single action and informal plan. Then we use present continuous tense. See, I am coming tomorrow. She is living in Janapur. So they are single actions. It's an informal plan, individual plan there. But preparations are there. So that's the basic difference between these two here. Whereas, what's the difference there with simple future tense? Simple future tense, under simple future tense. I mean, simple future tense which is used with future plan and program. If the plan is instantly made, no preparations. See here. Here, the plan is made without preparations. Or it is instantly made, thrown, immediately made. It is immediately made, instantly made. Yes, so see here. It. It's raining. Oh, I'll carry an umbrella. Carrying an umbrella is not the plan made with all the preparations. So, we are going to book it. We are going to book it. We are Immediate plan. Oh, immediate plan is to be simple for certain things. See here, uh, Mr. it's so hard, oh, there you go, sir. I'll switch on the fan. So, switching on the fan is the immediate plan. And Mr. Kharka is busy. I'll wait. Oh, he's busy. Okay, okay, I'll wait. So, I'll wait. This is the immediate plan, immediate future plan here. Yeah. So, these are the basic differences between simple present, present conscious tense and simple future tense in addition to future plan and program there. So, dear students, I hope you have understood this all. Now, write some questions for you to practice at home. Only very few questions are there. So, please write. Alright, first please, supply the correct tense. Supply the correct tense. Number one, right? See what television now. Number two, he come tomorrow. Number three. Hurry up, the train, come, number four, right, slow and steady, uh, 
in bracket right to win the race. Five number right. My brother B twenty five next month. Twenty five is twenty five year. We in bracket right B here for two days. So these are the six questions for you to practice at home. I hope we we'll go through these questions and tomorrow we'll meet again the same time. Till then, I thank. Bye bye. Have a nice day.